So we're here with Mike at what is going to become the uh, Olympia Greek Taverna 2.0. 2.0. So it's been a while. This happened, uh, the fire happened in the fall of 2020. 2020. Yeah, October 6th. So we're finally making some progress here. Why did it take so long? Uh, you know, design, architects, city. And of course now, you know, trying to get trades to get started. It was a combination of, you know, a lot of different factors that uh, that took a lot longer than we were hoping. Right, but now it's uh, taking shape. Uh, tell us about how much it's gonna look like uh, the uh, Taverna that they remember and, and how much is gonna be bigger and better. Well, most of it's gonna be bigger and better. We are gonna bring in elements from the old place and uh, They'll see that as it's progressing. Um, but the building itself on the outside is going to be totally different from what it was before. I mean, it's all blocked. There'll be a lot of rock work. It's going to really have a real neat old world flair to it. And then when you walk in again, it's going to have you know, a lot of the elements that we had before and just kicked up a notch. Um, it's, you're going to have that feel of you're walking into a Mediterranean paradise. So the central atrium with a, with a big tree growing in the middle, another yeah, greenery? Yeah, 15 foot olive tree going in there and yeah. It's and and the, the, the seating kind of around that central kind of atrium and then second floor as well? Second floor that we're standing up right now. We're actually standing on our outdoor, our new outdoor uh, patio. So. You know, it'll have a louvered roof system, you know, opened up in the summertime. It'll be all heated in that in the wintertime. We'll be probably able to use it for most of the year, year and round. And even from this uh, patio, there'll be glass looking down into that same atrium that people see below. Yes, so you'll be able to sit up here and be able to look down, see the tree, see the people mulling around downstairs. And it'll be nice, a little bit of more of a view this time out front here as compared to being just look overlooking an alley and a couple walls before. So it's uh, it's gonna have a really neat feel up here. So how does it how does it feel to you after all this time, you know, to see things finally taking shape? Oh, it feels great. It feels great to be able to see progress happening. You know, steel guys, as you can see, are putting steel up right now. And, and it's just, you know, it really feels good that we're finally getting to this stage. Sorry, people, a little longer than we were hoping, you know. We're hoping for this fall, but uh, it'll be sometime in the spring for sure. That was my question. So now, now we're going to sort of gently uh, suggest that spring 2023? Spring 2023. So that, that buys me a little bit of time there. A little, you know, there's a little cushion there. I'm not giving anybody an exact date. <laughs> Is July a spring month? <laughs> just passed <laughs> yeah um one other element that you didn't mention just now is that it'll also have a little deli so if you want to take a bit of grease home you can just pop in the, the door and grab whatever elements you need oh exactly uh, so you'll be able to pick up you know our dips or spice mixtures or barbecue sauces you know our uh, rice potatoes and yeah. take that off take that home with you right so a lot like the old one but uh, a lot a lot better much better can't wait, to, can't wait to see it, Mike. Thanks for telling us about hey, it. Hey, you bet. Thank you, Ken. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.